This is just going to be a quick little tip for Vim uh, that a uh, viewer a while ago informed me of and uh, I've been meaning to do a tutorial on. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to create a, a, uh, a script here using Vim, my text editor, and we'll uh, call it myscript.sh. And we'll start it off as we always do with the shebang bin bash because it's going to be a bash script and we'll echo out hello world and then we'll print the date out to the screen just a few little some, something to have in the script there so to save it we're going to hit escape colon w to write it to a file and q to quit and there we have that file uh, we can now make it executable with change mod plus x and my script or the name of the script we'll hit dot slash in the name of the script to run it and there it says hello world and prints out the date information just as we had in the script. So now <clears throat> let's say we want to go and add something to that script we'd have to go back into Vim and edit the file and then we'd exit out and run the file again but as I said I was informed by a viewer uh, that uh, you can actually run the scripts and other commands from within Vim without exiting. So what we're going to do here uh, we'll, we'll add another command here. We'll just say echo hey again. And we'll hit escape colon W and hit enter and that saved the file. So now let's say we want to run the file but we don't want to exit out of Vim. We'll hit colon exclamation point and anything we put after this will run like it runs on the command line. So we'll say dot slash and the name of our script which is myscript.sh and if we enter you can see right here it has run the script and it holds at that point so you can see the output until you hit enter and when you hit enter you go right back into Vim uh, and as I said you can run really any command line command this way so we'll hit colon exclamation point and we'll just say list and we'll hit enter and you can see it lists all the files in that directory and waits for you to hit enter and then we'll go back into Vim. Now you do lose the color coding in programs like like LS uh, which would normally uh, in many cases color code the files but nonetheless you can run it without exiting out of Vim all the way. So if you're working on a script that's a real quick way to test it out without having to save and quit, run it, then go back into Vim. So I thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you visit the links in the description and filmsbychris.com, that's Chris the K, and I hope that you have a great day.